Welcome to Varsity Voices. I'm Mark Dovey sitting in for Jeff D. Veronica. This is my colleague James Johnson. And James, final week of high school football regular season. A lot of big games coming up, including East Rochester Gananda, which can control its postseason destiny. Tell us a little about what we're going to be seeing this weekend. Well, East Rochester Gananda is undefeated. They host a Geneva team that is, uh, just has one loss and is pretty good year in and year out. Uh, Geneva is also trying to maybe bounce back from a loss that uh, kind of cost a, a, a home playoff game. But uh, East Rochester Gananda is a, a, a very run-oriented team, uh, kind of bend but don't break defense. Uh, they're trying to hold on to the number one seed in Class C. And I'm sure that, again, preparing for East Rochester Gananda is not going to be a real trick for Geneva because no. they keep the ball on the ground. About 85% of their plays are there. Uh, what would we we'll be looking at on Friday night? You're going to see a lot of Cameron Cleveland if, if the statistics bear out any um, evidence. Uh, 1,700 yards, uh, 16 touchdowns. The team itself has run for 1,900 yards, 22 touchdowns, fast elusive. Uh, Coach Dennis Greco calls him a, a, a more powerful runner than people give him credit for. I think we're going to see a lot of Cameron Cleveland again. And let's see what Cleveland does in action here. He does. He hits the hole well and then he just uses this incredible breakaway speed. This is a 90 plus yard run against Palmac and look at he's literally 10-15 yards past the cornerbacks and defensive backs there. Uh, that's just amazing. In Cleveland, again, you mentioned uh, 1,200 yards, yeah. uh, almost 1,300 yards, actually, yeah. and, and this great amount of touchdowns he's been putting up. Also, uh, he's also a very good threat uh, as far as kickoff returns go. Absolutely, with that speed, sure. Yeah. Now, of course, the Bombers aren't afraid to throw the ball, as we've seen as well. Yeah. Uh, they have quarterback Patrick Shanley, who has only thrown two interceptions in the past 16 games. Now, here on this play, he hooks up with Dimitri Georgian-Tonis for a touchdown. And it's just amazing, like I said, you have that great running game, but aren't afraid to let your quarterback let it fly. That always works for you. Yeah, absolutely. He has absolute confidence in, in Shanley, uh, obviously, after throwing no interceptions last season. Now, uh, uh, defensively, a strong team, 16 points a game they're giving up. Yeah. What should we be looking at on defense for them? He, Greco kind of terms it as a bend but don't break defense. Uh, if there's turnovers to be had, they usually swoop them up, as we're about to see here against Wayne and uh, kind of a bend but don't break defense. They don't really dominate teams, but they, you know, they'll give up yards. They'll give up yards, but if they can snatch a turnover, they'll grab it. You know, they have Jake Gales on defense, a, a, a guy in the line likes to stuff the run. Yeah. Let's take a look at the interception. Uh, this is Jaden Castricini, who late in the game versus Wayne picks off, eventually sealing the victory right there. Uh, now, if you're talking about Geneva before, Geneva's loss came to Wayne. So ER has that little up because they've beaten a team that the team that's coming in to play them has not beaten. So it's Correct. a little confidence boost, I think, Correct. for them. Um, but honestly, nothing like Friday night football in East Rochester. We know that. We've been to those games before. Yeah. It's 7 p.m. Friday night at East Rochester. Uh, thanks for joining us, by the way. He's James Johnson. I'm Mark Dovey. This has been Varsity Voices, and you can catch everything else on DemocratandChronicle.com.